today we will save Killian Hayes NBA career. To do this after each NBA season we will be opening up a mystery box that has upgrades all the way from Kyrie's dribbling to Shaq's player build to Wimby's defense so on and so forth. Now to make this a little more interesting there are boxes throughout the mystery upgrades that do consist of resetting Killian Hayes back to his rookie status resulting in us losing every single upgrade we have obtained so far throughout the rebuild. As you guys can see there are 20 boxes on the screen. I'm gonna randomly pick one. Killian Hayes Loki didn't play bad for us. Right now we're in the 2024 offseason. He averaged like 12 and 5 last season with pretty good shooting splits but we're just gonna go ahead and start this off. Let's do box number four. That's my favorite number and we get De'Aaron Speed which is honestly Probably one of the worst upgrades we could give to Killian Hayes. That speed upgrade really wasn't the worst thing in the world for him. He's up to an 84. He was a 77 before that. I gave him the proper badges and animations, which his animations before were not the best. And he had absolutely no dribbling badges. And now he does have 99 speed, speed with ball and ball handle. Like I said, last season wasn't awful for him. 12, 3, 5 over still is really not the worst thing in the world. We're in the NBA draft here. We have the 12th pick, which... That definitely could be, but hold up, Stefan Castle is still on the board. So is this guy, Isaiah Clear, as well. I might explore trades for our pick. I might honestly package Jaden Ivey with this and then see what really pops up because Jaden Ivey's off the bench right now, and I don't really need him coming off the bench. Plus, we have Cade. His contract expired. Awesome. As our starting. Shooting guard. Let's see what we can get for Duran. Okay, we're just gonna take a player at this point. Let's take, let's take. Oh, I don't know who I want, man. There's honestly a couple of good options here. Let's take Stefan Castle. I feel like that's the obvious choice here. Gives us another guard that I don't need, but we can trade him. He's a 76 overall. I do need to make sure that I get Killian Hayes back on the roster. So let's give him 32 mil a year. I cannot believe I'm actually seeing this with my own eyes there. He gets 32 mil a year. Now, let's get rid of Jaden Ivey and Stefan Castle. We have Kate at the two and Killian at the one. I just do not need a guard. Both of these players do not need to be coming off the bench for us. Are you kidding me? Stop showing me these guards. All right, Kristaps, perfect. That means we can also package Jalen Duran. We can keep Azura at the three and then we can get rid of Isaiah Stewart and Marcus Sasser. Three really good players, but we do need a better power forward cat is not the worst option aaron gordon is kind of perfect looks like i'm probably gonna be taking aaron gordon but this also i feel like this is too much just to get aaron gordon jalen duran's going to be a monster i mean he's already averaging 14 11 1 1 and 1 shooting 63 percent from the field isaiah stewart's a great stretch big off our bench market sasser i don't know i'm not giving up that much for a power forward can i sign any okay i literally can't sign anybody we might actually have to give up that much. Let's just try. I don't really know what I want to do here. There's no one I can really get back. So it's pretty much trades to get a power forward. Let's package Quentin Grimes, Jalen Duran, And I want to keep Isaiah Stewart off the bench with Marcus Sasser and S Sam. So let's get rid of Troy Brown Jr. I don't know what he's doing on the roster. Oh, bro, am I really finna bring Tobias Harris to the roster? Is it time? Okay, I can get Aaron Gordon for this, which is not the worst thing ever. Probably going to do that, actually. Let's just take Derek Lively. We'll start him at the five. We'll put Chris Depps at the two, and then I'll just trade for some more role players off our bench. Looks like he actually led us to a positive win record this season. 44 wins on the year, which really, it's usually awful in rebuilds, but considering this was one of the worst teams in the league, last season this is a lot better i mean we are what what seed are we where are we hello we're the fifth seed season stats this year killian with 13 4 up to eight assists two steals both becoming a two-way machine Cade with 25 4 5 is still definitely still the best player on our team azur with 11 9 4 1 and 1 chris Epps 26 Derek lively 7 8 a steal and a block pj washington off the bench with 9 and 4 sasser with 10 and 3 isaiah stewart with 8 and simon with 9 i definitely like our bench a ton a lot of really great role players as we do actually win in round one we're probably gonna get smacked by the Cavs. yeah we get swept which it is what it is because we are gonna get another random box upgrade hopefully unless we get the reset stats as the celtics are nba champions so i accidentally 
close this entire website between the first and second season and the boxes are random so I picked number four the first time this time it was cream cream's teammate it'd be our teammate we're just gonna ignore this and we're gonna pick a different box I'm gonna go with box number eight Oh my gosh, Killian Hayes is going to the 1990 Bulls. It's definitely safe to say Killian is now on a better team. Kind of sucks though because I was in the middle of rebuilding the Pistons into an absolute dynasty. Are we even going to win? Bro, we ain't even winning 50 games with the 1992 Bulls. Are you kidding me? We won 48, which it is what it is. MJ and Pippen both made the All-NBA first team for us which is fantastic MJ made the all defensive first team as well Pippen is on the all defensive second team we're the fourth seed in the conference right now we have Horace Grant who's averaging 11 11 over still over a block MJ 38 6 3 over a block Pippen 21 8 6 2 and 1 Bill Cartwright 9 and 10 Rose averaging 0.3 blocks as a 7 foot 1 big man that is wild Gillian Hayes pretty much the same player still 11 4 7 Almost two steals. Definitely the third best player on a team is going to have to pass both Pippen and Jordan, which is going to be very difficult. We make it past the first round, and then we get eliminated in seven games. And the Jazz are NBA champions with John Stockton winning finals MVP. Honestly, looking at it, cream teammate, that would literally be insane to have. But let's go ahead and do box 18. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Killian Hayes is now seven foot seven. You guys wait until you see the team that I've just constructed. MJ just won MVP averaging 32-6-6-2. A block 46% from three. Who said he can't shoot? Man, Shaq just won rookie of the year. Killian Hayes, most improved player at seven foot seven, averaged 18-7-8, two and two now for us. Bro is a beast. MJ does make the all NBA first team for us. Killian Hayes. All NBA third team alongside Scotty Pippen. He is up to an 88 overall now that he is 7-7. MJ is on the all defensive first team. Killing Hayes all defensive second team alongside Scotty Pippen. We are the first seed this year. Look at this team. We only have a seven main rotation. It does not matter. We got the GOAT Killing Hayes at the power forward position. We got MJ at the shooting guard. Pippen at the three averaging 27, 6, 2, and 1. We got Manute Bowl at the five, bro. Hold up, bro. How are you only averaging four, nine? Have a steal in two blocks in 35 minutes a game. That's crazy. Anyway, we got Michael Williams. So now we have a point guard. He averaged 13, 9, and 2 for us. Doug Christie out the bitch with 6, 5, 4 over a steal. Rex Chapman with 15, 2, and 3. Oh my gosh, Rex Chapman? Bro, might be him. Per 36 stats are really good. This is definitely Killian Hayes' best year so far. So it's only up from here unless we get the reset button, which that would not be good. Looks like we're easily going to make our way to the finals here. And we do win our first championship. The GOAT, man. Killing Hayes, finals MVP, 22-7, 10-2-2. He just needed to be in the 90s to dominate. It's that simple. His game was just, it's just too much. All right, we get another box here. I don't really know what number to go with. Seven is a lot of people's lucky number. Let's go with seven. LeBron's dunking. This man is going to be 7'7 seven seven with LeBron's athleticism. This is another level of greatness. I'm pretty sure this is the best record we've had for our final season here. Wow, Larry Johnson actually just won MVP. We have Rookie of the Year and Chris Webber. The team is not looking the same as last season, to say the least. As Killian Hayes and MJ both make the All-NBA second team. And those are the only All- Actually, Chris Webber just made the All-NBA third team as a rookie. Both Michael Jordan and Killian Hayes make the all-defensive first team as well. So, bro's the GOAT, all right? He's literally up there with the GOAT. We're the third seed. Bro, huh? Season stats on the year. Killian Hayes with 17, 5, 8, over still two blocks. 56% from the field, 41% from three. Chris Webber, 16, 9, 5, 1, and 1. MJ, 21, 5, 6, 2, 1. Alonzo Morning, 16, 9, 1, 1, and 2. Scotty Pippen, 14, 6, 6, 1, and 1. Safe to say... Killing Hayes is now tied for like the best player on our roster. Off the bench, Chapman with 11 and 3. Doug Smith with 9 and 5 rebounds. And Doug Christie with 5, 4, 3 and a steal. How are we the third seed? Okay, a 49 win team is the second seed. Someone explain that to me. And then the Hornets actually did have a better record than us. Okay, yeah, we just swept them. Get out of here. The Hornets, who do they have, bro? Percy Hawkins, Kendall Gill, Larry Johnson, Kenny Gaddison. If I lose to this team, dude, as it, with a 7'7", Killing Hayes, bro, we finna sweep them. Get out of here, bro. You a fake first seed. As we are in the finals against 
the Portland Trailblazers here. I'm pretty sure it goes to four games. We're going to simulate the last one was Simcast so we can get some playing time with Killian Hayes as we easily take the first two quarters. And it looks like we might lose the third. No, we went up by three with a little over a minute to go in the game here. It's time to use Killian Hayes. Oh my gosh. Yo, where he at, bro? No way this man fouled out. No chance. I'm pretty sure he fouled out. Bruh. We're all, it's all cooked. How am I going to use this man? And then he fouled out. It is what it is. We still end up blowing them out. Time to see who took home finals MVP here. And Michael Jordan takes it averaging 27, 8, 3 steals and 2 blocks. It's kind of hard to beat that stat line. But in the playoffs, Killing Hayes did just average at the point guard position. 19, 5, 8, 2 steals, 2 blocks. It's almost 70% from the field and 44% from three. Bro was a beast. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more of these, just leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.